Hello everyone, this is Soldier Boy X here, and this is my first video installment of Soldier Boy X's how-to videos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do chroma key, that is, blue screen or green screen, on your Windows Movie Maker software. As I was searching for a blue screen or green screen software, I found that most tutorials would show Wax 2.0 as a free software to use for green screen. Now it works fine, the problem is that there's some compatibility issues with Windows Movie Maker and I'm used to using Windows Movie Maker. The technique I'm going to show you for doing green screen or well, blue screen in Windows Movie Maker isn't to make big blockbuster movies, this is for small videos where you just need to add a couple things onto your movie or add a background. Now the reason I wanted Windows Movie Maker is because I'm used to it. It's a lot more user friendly than Wax 2.0. So here we go. First you're going to need a uh, code which you can see on the screen here. You can actually go and copy the code by f following the link in the sidebar and go and at the end of that article you'll find a link to the code that you see on the screen here. Now you'll need this code. First what you do is you copy the code. Then you need to open up a notepad document. Paste it in there. Here's the thing. You have to save it as. You have to go to my computer then go to local disk, program files. You find movie maker right here. Then you go to shared. Then you'll find add-on TFX. Now if this add-on TFX file doesn't exist in the shared documents yet. You create it. You create a uh, folder, add on TFX. Make sure the uh, capitalization and the uh, exact wording is correct. Then once you create it, you can then save it. Now make sure to use, when it says save as type, make sure to use all files. Now as you can see, I already have this on here. You have to write it in as bluescreen.xml and that will save it as an XML file. Okay, now that you've added the blue screen code to the Windows Movie Maker, you can open up the Movie Maker as I've done right here. In this case, since as you can see in this video, I don't have a normal dark blue screen behind me. I haven't bought a cloth, a cloth yet. Instead, I've created this. It's a paint file. I wanted this and a nice little underlining label like a news type plus my logo on the video. So what I did was I made sure to make this video or this paint file. Now make sure that the rectangle that you're doing this on is similar in dimension to the size and resolution of the video. Otherwise it'll end up cutting off part of your video. Now you can also, if you do have a blue cloth similar to this color, you can use the blue cloth video with a green, the blue screen in the background and instead of a, of a picture. Well, anyways, I did this, I made this because this, you know, I, this is what I want on the video. Now the blue will disappear. Now what I do is, first I import my video or picture that I want as the background or in this case as my original video then I add what the either pic picture or video that contains the chroma key the blue screen now make sure that the blue screen or chroma key clip is to the right okay it has to be to the right otherwise it won't work properly you'll get some funky result now you will then uh, you would have to uh, click video transitions, view video transitions right here and this will come up and you'll see here blue screen. You move, you take it and pull it over and as you notice it nudges over this, the clip a little bit. Now let's say this video here is 7.17 seven, seven, sec, 7 seconds long. That means that you would have to take this picture and move it so that it's 7 seconds long. That way it perfectly overlaps. So then you can drag this blue screen transition, make it wider, and it'll actually drag the picture 
into it. And as you can see an example here, you have the picture and the underline. Now you might notice here that part of the sky disappeared. You have to be careful, as I didn't do in this case, not to have things that are blue, too close to blue, in your picture. For example, don't wear a blue suit as it would disappear. After you do this, let's say this is exactly how you want it. Now the audio, for some reason, will change, will actually lower, it will fade out as it, as it goes along be, because of this transition. So what you're going to have to do is you copy it, copy the audio, put it, and then move it down to audio and music and paste it. Then mute the original video. After you're done with all your editing, you can then go and save your movie file in whatever format you want, and your outcome should be a blue screen or chroma keyed video with your pictures and animations that you want added onto them on the screen. If you want more information and if you want to read a more detailed instruction on how to do this, you can follow the link in the sidebar that I've provided for you. Also, to find the actual code needed to do this, you can follow that link and at the end of the article you'll find a link to that will give you your code. Make sure to favorite, subscribe, and rate this video and make sure to pass it on so others could learn from this video. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you.